Hello friends, welcome to Pioneer of Success. We are initiating a course on fluid mechanics. In this course, I'll be covering the topics that concern an engineering student. I'll start this particular course with a brief introduction to the course contents. I'll be talking about the prerequisite to study fluid mechanics and those are fundamentals of vector algebra and calculus. Those are the two things very important if you are trying to understand fluid mechanics in an appropriate manner. We'll be talking about the basic definitions with brief history of fluid mechanics. We'll be talking about the concept of system control volume and two approaches very important and those two are Lagrangian and Eulerian approach. We'll be talking about continuity, energy balance and momentum balance. Those are the three things very important topics as far as the engineering syllabus is concerned and hence we'll be having detailed discussion on this. We'll again have detailed understanding of momentum equation with a special emphasis on Navier-Stokes equation. We'll be talking about the nature of Navier-Stokes equation. We'll be understanding the physical significance of this particular equation and the solution strategy, whether we have an analytical solution, if we do not have, why we don't have, how exactly we can solve those equations in uh, by numerical approaches that I'll be talking about. We'll be talking about the laminar flow in detail and we'll touch upon the turbulent flow because that is what the syllabus of fluid mechanics paper one in most of the engineering courses. We'll be talking about pipe flow frictional losses with detailed analysis based on the syllabus of engineering courses and we'll have a detailed discussion on turbo machineries like we'll be having centrifugal pump, blower, compressors because those are there in engineering courses. We'll not be talking about fluid statics in this particular series, but we'll be having another series on fluid statics. Now I focus on the course structure, why we exactly creating this course because there are multiple courses already available. My target is to make understanding of physical significance very clear to you. So whichever we'll be studying, we'll be focusing on physical understanding so that you can correlate with the natural phenomena that you basically come across in, in your daily life. We'll be studying fluid mechanics with vectorial notation so that with the physical understanding, we also understand the mathematical details, the mathematical significance of an equation and how exactly it relates to physical phenomena. That would be one of the objectives of this particular course. And we'll amalgamate these two objectives, that is the physical understanding and the mathematical understanding. We'll be creating the course based, um, we'll be creating the base that would help students in future higher study. So once we understand the physical significance, once we understand the mathematical significance, it will create the base and that base will help for the higher study. Solving multiple numerical problems so that it also helps in competitive exams of various kinds. So we'll be solving multiple problems during this particular course. We'll be preparing you for technical interviews where what are the questions generally asked from this fluid mechanics. I'll be covering that thing in a separate session. We'll be having doubt clearing sessions. Uh, I mean, the doubts I generate from multiple comments, emails, I'll be jotting them down and I'll be creating separate videos on them. We'll be having few experimental demonstrations so that you understand the physical phenomena and the mathematical concept in a better way. So overall, the, the idea is to make physical understanding and mathematical understanding and prepare you for different things like interviews, competitive exams and all. Now I'll be talking briefly about three important terminologies that we generally come across in physical sciences and those are dynamics, kinetics and kinematics. We generally use those terms but we don't understand the 
underlying thing of this particular or I, I should say what are the differences between these terminologies like dynamics, kin kinetics and kinematics. So dynamics basically means the branch of mechanics concerned with the motion of bodies under the action of forces. Again, this is very complicated to understand from the statement. So mathematically, we can understand it better. So anything you study, which is a function of space and time, like here you can see we are taking a fluid velocity vector, which is a function of space x, y, z and time t in Cartesian coordinate system. So whichever is function of both space and time that can be considered as dynamics. Similarly, in cylindrical and spherical coordinates, we will be having similar space and time, but with a different notation. So, here time will come, like u is a function of r theta z and time, time will come here. Uh, by mistake, we uh, did not put the time here. It will be like this, for whichever we have shown in Cartesian coordinate. So, in kinetics, what we study, the, it is basically the branch of chemistry or biochemistry that concern with measuring the rates of the reaction. So, in this case, if you remember, we, whenever we deal with the rate of a reaction, we don't have any space coordinate. It only depends on time. Say, the concentration change with respect to uh, concentration depends on time itself and there is no space coordinate here. So, anything which is only function of time that is given by kinetics and kinematics what is kinematics in kinematics we again study the motion but why the motion is there why a body is moving what is the underlying force that makes the body move that we don't do we, we don't know but we study the motion so that is called kinematics so if i just give an equation that will make the thing clear like we have this equation v equal to v0 plus a t where a is the acceleration t is the time v0 is the initial velocity so there is something a body is moving with a with an acceleration a so the acceleration a is known but we don't know where from this acceleration is being generated there might be some force which is creating the acceleration but we don't have idea about that force but we have the idea of the effect that is A that is the acceleration and I mean in this particular I mean this particular way of studying the motion is called kinematics like I have taken another example where the distance traverse x is equal to a v0 t plus half a t square so we have all studied this particular e those equations but we never tried to understand why this is called kinematics why the reaction rate con rate is called kinetics and why the fluid velocity is called dynamics so these three things are the basic terminologies we should understand when we start studying fluid mechanics now apart from this we have multiple other terminologies so i thought of jotting them down and talking about it like what is mechanics so mechanics is the oldest physical science that deals with both stationary and moving bodies so this is very important it deals with both stationary so we should mark here so it deals with stationary and also deals with moving bodies so Combination of the stationary and moving body gives you mechanics and now the mechanics has two parts one is statics so the statics is a branch of mechanics so you can you should note it down it's a branch of mechanics so it's a part of mechanics that deals with the bodies at rest similarly dynamics is another branch another branch of mechanics that deals with bodies in motion in combination we called it mechanics now from from this mechanics terminology you can understand what is fluid mechanics so fluid mechanics is again the science that deals with the behavior of fluid at rest that is statics or in motion that is 
dynamics. So dynamics and statics together is called mechanics. But in general, we we actually sometimes call it fluid dynamics. Sometimes we call it fluid mechanics. But technically, mechanics deal with both statics and motion. But like we are basically studying fluid dynamics because I have told the statics I'll be putting separately in a separate video series. But here we are only studying the motion of fluid. So we are basically studying fluid dynamics. Now hydrodynamics means you can understand the study of motion of fluids that can be ap approximated at incompressible. So very important. So basically in hydrodynamics, we deal with fluids like water. So water is an incompressible fluid. So whenever we deal with incompre incompressible fluid dynamics, we call it hydrodynamics. Like we'll be studying the motion of water flow and that may be called as hydrodynamics. Hydraulics is not important as far as fluid mechanics is concerned. So I'm just keeping it. You can just have a look into it. But the aerodynamics term is important. Gas dynamics term is important as far as fluid mechanics is concerned. So in gas dynamics, it deals with the flow of fluids that undergo significant density change. So you should remember this terminology. Like in hydrodynamics, there is no density change. It is incompressible. But here it is changing. What is changing? Density is changing. So in gas dynamics, the density changes. In aerodynamics, it deals with the flow of gases, especially air over bodies such as aircraft, rockets and automobiles. So it's a special branch of science where we deal with the flow of air around those moving objects like vehicles rather than I can say vehicles like aircraft, rockets and automobiles. So those terminologies we should be aware of because sometimes when we talk about them, when we deliver a speech, we should be correct at our terminologies. So now I move on to the definition of fluid and today we'll be talking up to this. So the purpose of making the first lecture was to make you aware of the course content, the target of the course and few terminologies and the definition of the fluid. So this is a comprehensive initiation and then we'll be going to the prerequisites as I have mentioned the vector algebra and the calculus. So now let me finish this video with the definition of fluid. So fluid is a substance that can be a liquid or gas. So firstly, we should understand the fluid may be a liquid or a gas. But there are certain properties we, we, which we find in a, in, a, in a material that makes the material fluid and that property is a fluid deforms continuously under influence of a shear stress. So this is very important. A fluid deforms continuously under the influence of a shear stress no matter how small it is. So this might be the definition of a fluid. So what is a fluid? A fluid is a substance that continuously deform under the influence of shear stress. Sometimes they call the fluid cannot resist shear stress no matter how small it is. But what happens in solid? A solid can resist an applied shear stress by deforming. So what happens if you apply a shear stress on a solid, the solid body may deform and when you pull back the force or the stress, it may again come back to its initial position, initial condition. But when you have a stress, it may deform slightly or with some extent based on the applied stress. But in fluid, it will keep on deforming, keep on deforming and that is the nature of the fluid. So here I have taken an example. Suppose this is this rectangle. If you just consider this rectangle as a solid body, now you put a shear force on top of it. It may deform and the deformed structure may be this one. 
so there is a deformation due to the force but this deformation will not change over time in solid this deformation will not change over time it only depends on the magnitude and the nature of the shear stress but what happens if a fluid suppose you just imagine this part is is a fluid and we apply a shear force so what will happen after some time it will deform and then if you allow more time it will keep on deforming more and more and it will deform it will keep on deforming and this is the nature of the fluid so this particular example we have taken from the famous book of fluid mechanics that is written by R. W. Fox. So uh, I I am just referring that particular book because that's a nice book to start with. So in this particular video, we talked about the comprehensive things of fluid mechanics. I hope now you have an understanding of terminologies. What is a fluid? How exactly? Why exactly we are going to do this particular course and what we will be covering. So today I stop here, we will be coming up with the prerequisite videos in the upcoming sessions.